Infinite Craft is a website made by Neil Ar Agual. It starts off by having you combine basic materials. You can then combine the newly created materials over and over to make new items or uh, whatever. Because of this, you can create anything. People have created Minecraft, YouTubers, and even someone found out how to create me. Though it is a capital W, not a lowercase, buddy. Get it right. I'm a bit late to this, but I've actually had this idea for a while. Basically, using AI, it would take two Minecraft items and create a new one. Best part, it hasn't been done before. Never, ever before. I actually did this over two months ago, but I forgot. So here it is, finally, the story on how I did it. Okay, so I needed a way for housing to recognize the items that the users wanted to craft. I thought of a ton of different solutions, but all were either just not possible in vanilla or just were really weird. The idea I decided on was annoying, but ended up working in the end. So each Minecraft item has an ID. One is stone, two is, um, okay, well I actually don't know, but I do know that 98 is stone bricks. Anyways, if I have a conditional that checks the item that they're holding and assigns the ID of the item to a stat, which this took forever by the way, I had to do every single item twice because there's two items that they give. I lost track so many times, it was really annoying. Just kidding, I actually modified HTSL to do it for me. But anyways, after all that hard work, I can have a bot read the stat to see what two items the player wants to combine. And sure, this would mean that they would need to be vanilla Minecraft items, meaning that technically it wouldn't be infinite. But with the amount of items that you could use, it still gives you a really large number. So I, I classify that as infinite. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to send this data to a bot using global stats. That's easy. It's what after that got me stuck for a while. First, I need to communicate with an AI model to actually create the new item. For this, I use ChatGPT's 3.5 Turbo model as it's very smart. And after a lot of messing around with it, and I mean a lot, eventually I came up with this prompt that would give it. I'm going to give you two items. There are Minecraft items in the version 1.8.9. I would like you blah blah blah, no one cares. Anyways, it would create an entirely new item and give me back an array with data. Each segment of the array corresponded to information about the item. First would be the item ID, then the name, after that is the lore or description, and then enchants. For fun, I also had the AI decide on a rarity for the item, so super rare items were given legendary or even mythic, it would broadcast it in the chat to everyone. Now that I had this information, I could simply just apply it to an item. And then perfect, now I can combine two items to get a completely new one generated by AI. For fun, and so I didn't send a ton of requests to the AI, items were stored in a JSON file, so that if an item was already created, it wouldn't create a new item and instead just grab the already saved information, as well as show some cool stuff like who was the original creator and how many copies had been made. There was an issue where if multiple users were using it at the same time, the bot would have some trouble, so I had to implement a queue system, which you'll find out later didn't work very well. And after some testing, it was finally time to release. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really nervous because while we did do a lot of testing with this where I got a bunch of the staff members on, I did fix a lot of issues that came up, but I feel like there's still gonna be more. So I'm like super nervous, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Right, we're getting some people to join, we're getting some people to join. Hopefully they can figure it out relatively easily. I mean, the concept is simple, but I don't know, people are stupid. Okay, a lot of people are joining now. It was, this is about how many people were here for uh, staff testing, a little bit more. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it does, goes well. Okay, people are actually crafting some legendary items, apparently. That's interesting. The stats here do include stuff from staff testing, so obviously it's a little higher than what it sh maybe should have been, but still interesting. We got a mythic item someone crafted. Legendary. And so far, it doesn't look like there's any issues with C3OZ. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, someone's item right there. Oh, and they came and they're gone. <laughs> very nice. Okay, there's starting to be a lot of people now, and I'm getting very nervous. Like, I'm, like, freaking out. I feel like it's going to... Like, the, the console is being spammed right now. It's kind of wild. I don't want to, I don't, I would craft items with them, but I don't want to, like, help to the lag or anything. Ooh, ooh, this person has a chest plate. I'm curious what it is. Nice. What? Another mythic item. Oh, and another one. Holy crap. Let me show you the console real quick. For debugging, I, I have a print a lot of information when someone crafts an item, and it is going incredibly fast like I, there's this i've never seen it gone this fast just because so many people are doing it wonder if everyone anyone is um you know what i think i'm gonna craft something and see if someone maybe will trade it for me i'm gonna get actually i might just pvp too we're gonna, we're gonna go diamond sword bedrock and i think we'll get something pretty powerful because you know i i think that makes sense diamond sword and bedrock let's see anything interesting oh i think i got bugged actually Oh, no, I got my own. Let's see. The sword made of bedrock. All right, all right, let's see. We got, I want to PvP someone with it. It's a sharpness eight sword. That is crazy. All right, let's see. What else can we get? We can maybe get some armor. I would like to uh, show Buster Brown his uh, unique item. See if we can get his attention. Bro doesn't want it. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine.
Okay, so the nightmare happened. Um, there's a lot of there's a few issues that came up. But I do think I solved it. I just set the limit uh, to 15 players and just kicked everyone. So now, um, obviously, less people can be here, sadly. But that also means less people are spamming it, so a lot less to worry about. And C3OZ is not overwhelmed, which is uh, which is good. <laughs> I'll keep this event going to see if anything interesting happens. Now that uh, that happened, though, let's see. Uh, we should be able to craft our uh, powerful items, hopefully. Let's see. Oh, yep, there we go. Rocky helmet. Sick. Let's try to do the full set. I just <laughs> emerald bucket. Wait, oh, this isn't even mine. Huh. It's not quite it, but you know what? We got enough. Let's let's go see if anyone will be willing to fight me. All right, with my with my half AI generated armor set and my AI generated dream sword, I want to see if someone will fight me. Here we go. Here we go. We have a fight. We have a fight. You have a you have a star. Oh wait, what? Why can't I fight you? What? How can- What? Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, we can fight. What the heck is- I don't know what happened there. Alright, let's go. Oh, easy kill, easy kill. Okay, another easy kill. I I'm telling- The armor's crazy. The armor's crazy. Can I- Can I hit- Can I hit you now? No, I still can't. I still can't hit Walnut. They must have, like, some- I wonder- They have potion effects. Maybe they have something that just, like, heals them like crazy. I don't even know. Alright, Buster, let's go. Let's go, Buster. No, no, no. TP, Buster Brown, AO3 Warrior. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> he said, why? You're banned. Okay, you have no armor. This is not going to last long for you. Oh, oh, psyched me out. All right, let's go. Oh my god, that was that was crazy. Cove, here we go. I think you have thorns. Do they? They might have thorns. All right, let's get it. Oh. Oh, unfortunate. Walnut? I still wish. <laughs> why can't we? <laughs> We can fight. Wait, <laughs> we can fight, but we can't fight each other. That's so weird. All right, let's see what we got going on here. We got some trades going on. I just want to spectate. Just want to spectate. Oh wait, Cacti, what's up, Cacti? Oh, oh, Cacti, what we got? What we got? Let's see if Cacti has anything interesting. Ooh, he's, oh, that's interesting. Oh, <laughs> diamonds out. <laughs> well, that's that. That's certainly interesting. Here, let's see if he'd be interested in any of these items. No, not interested. Okay. I'm kind of glitchy though. Oh, I just got a friend request from Carpenter. Uh, okay, I'll, you know what? I'll accept that. I do wish I could increase the guest limit, but I genuinely, if there's anything more than 15, just issues come up. But can you imagine like an entire house based off this where like, like trading's expanded, like maybe there's like some type of currency where you can craft stuff. Like, I, I don't know. It's definitely an interesting idea. But with that in mind, the source code for both the house as well as the bot that handles this will be available to YouTube members with the with a slightly higher uh, membership. Those who have that membership get full access to source code as well as housing code to all my videos where I do cool events like this. On screen now is some of the examples of stuff that's already in there. You could technically just buy one month, download all the things, cancel your subscription, and still have the items. But if that's something you're interested, definitely go check that out. I do want to point out that it's completely optional though. You can still participate in the events as well as whatever I do with them. It's only for the actual source code. But we'll continue the video. It's really funny watching people teleport to the spot. Oh, right there. Where they get the item and then teleport back. I think it's... I don't know why. I think it's... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. I'm going to cut here and come back in either a little bit or maybe even a few hours and see what's going on then. The source code for this video will be given to all channel members, assuming you that you have the slightly more expensive... Um, I forget the role. I never... I, oh, I enjoy doing events like this, but instead of just giving it out for free, I do get a little bit of... I enjoy doing fun events like this, and as a return, I can give you guys the code. And by you guys purchasing a subscription, okay, then yeah, just just cut that out, cut that out. For fun, and so I didn't tend it. For fun, and so I didn't tend. Oh my god. For fun, and so I didn't. Oh, dude. For fun, and so I didn't. Oh, dude, I can't. For fun, and so I didn't. Um. Double. Okay. And a brick. Okay. Oh. Nope, wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, like your belt, like your belt. Like Hold on, let him cook. Oh, 